So hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys and gals are doing well. Just a really little quick video here for you all today. And that is that uh, I can actually believe this, but it looks like NVIDIA is doing the right thing and they are unlaunching the 12 gig version of their RTX 4080 graphics card. As y'all can see right here, it actually says unlaunching the 12 gig 4080. The RTX 4080 12 gig is a fantastic graphics card, but it's not named right. Having two GPUs with the 4080 designation is confusing. So we're pressing the unlaunch button on the 4080 12 gig. The RTX 4080 16 gig is, an, is amazing and on track to delight gamers everywhere on November 16th. So it just here's the thing, okay, everybody. Um, and a matter of fact here too, folks, whenever you go to the RTX 4080 page on NVIDIA's website, the 12 gig model is completely removed from the page. So like whenever you go to click on full specs right here, it only lists the uh, 16 gig model. So that's great, way less confusing for consumers, okay? And you know, a lot of people in the industry were saying that, oh, well, you know, having the 12 gig cards, not really a big deal, but a lot of the bigger names, and I'm not putting myself in that category, but uh, I was also saying like a lot of the, of the other uh, bigger people here in the tech YouTube space that, yeah, it's okay to have a card that has lesser memory. I mean, you know, there's a 12 gig and a 10 gig version of the 3080, and the uh, 12 gig model only performs just like marginally better than the 10 gig. So in other words, if you already had the 10 gig model of the 3080, it's sort of kind of, you know, it would be more of a side grade, if that makes sense, to upgrade to the 12 gig 3080. You know what I mean? So, but the thing about the 12 gig 4080 is that it's a completely different card. It had a full 2000 CUDA cores less than its 16 gig counterpart. And a matter of fact, if you compare it to a base model 10 gig 3080, it had a thousand less CUDA cores than even a base model 3080 with again, 10 gigs of VRAM. And on top of that, it only had a 192 bit memory bus. In other words, it has the same memory bus as a RTX 3060 non TI. So yes, I really do think that Nvidia did the right thing here. They, they shouldn't have even announce this card. They should have announced this as like a 4070 or 4070 TI in my humble opinion. And everybody is saying, oh, well, people can just, you know, look at the specs and compare. Well, yeah, people that might know the space and know what they're looking at might do that. Personally, I know I would, and many of you out there watching this video might. But if it's a younger person and their mom or dad is getting them a graphics card for their birthday or something, and they just tell them, oh yeah, hey mom, dad, I want a RTX 4080. Well, their mom or dad or whoever it might be might say, oh, well, there's two of these and this one is cheaper. I'm gonna just get this one for whoever it might be for their birthday or Christmas or whatever. And they get it and they think, oh great, I got a 4080, but wait, why is mine performing way less than everybody else's for, oh wait, this is, it's a lesser card. Or, you know, I, the way that my non-techie friends was asking me about it, they were like, hey, Terry, why is this a big deal? And I say, well, let's say you go into a car dealership, right? And you want to buy a brand new Camaro, brand new Mustang, right? You walk in and you buy the first one that you see. And yeah, it's got everything a Mustang or Camaro has, you know, it's a brand new car. It looks beautiful, nice stereo, all that jazz. But you take it to the drag strip to track it and you're like, wow, this car is a lot slower than I thought it would be. And then you pop the hood and realize without looking at what you bought, you bought the V6, not the V8. Like, I hope that example makes sense, okay? So look, with all that being said, NVIDIA, I think you're doing the right thing here. Personally, I would love to see this car rebranded as a 4070 because I think you know, with its CUDA core count, the uh, 12 gigs of VRAM, um, I, I think it would be pretty good as a 4070. Um, although I, I, I will admit, I wish that memory bus was a little bit wider at like at least like, you know, 256 bit. But I mean, I guess they're trying to push the clock speed so high on this card that it's sort of kind of just bypassing how narrow the, the memory bus is. Uh, which again isn't really a, a bad thing because if you can just brute force your way to high numbers that's just fine but um yeah we'll have to just see how it actually performs in in the real world that's you know no benchmarks are out for it yet obviously 
But if the 4090 is anything to go off of, this NVIDIA RTX 4000 series is going to be one of, if not the biggest generational increase in performance that we've seen from NVIDIA for quite some time. And it looks like that, that the benchmarks that they released actually were on track with what all of the other big name tech youtubers and reviewers were also getting so at least they were somewhat honest about that as well too so anyway here folks what do y'all think was this a good move do you think nvidia just should have released both sound off in the comments below and i will catch you guys and gals next time